Well, oh my word. It's been a bit of a rocky start for my voyage into the current gen. It's been a testing week. Let's start with the PS4. And well, first, let's start with my head. I have shaved my head. Yeah, it was, it was past the point of no return. I finally hit it. I've been losing my hair gradually over the last few years. But in the last couple of weeks, I noticed some extra patches that weren't there before. And I just wasn't quite getting away with it. Do you know what I mean? I kind of felt like I was just squeezing the last life out of some, you know, vaguely valid hairdo. But the last couple of weeks especially, all of a sudden, it just seemed to be really not there. And I put it down to something that happened at work. I actually saw someone die in front of me and it was a real shock and it gave me one of those horrible, you know, visceral sinking feelings. I don't know how to describe it, but you know what I mean when you've had it, you know. I've only had a few moments like that in my life and this was one of them. And I'm wondering if it might be a coincidence, but I'm saying after that happened a couple of weeks ago, it suddenly got a lot thinner on top. But yeah, I watched this guy die in front of me, he had a heart attack, brought on by a seizure, and it was completely out of the blue, so, so, well, he was fine all day, walking around, talking, absolutely fine. The guy did have epilepsy, he had seizures, and these can trigger a heart attack, and I think that's what happened this time. But anyway, this guy that I've been looking after for the best part of two years, lovely fella, died right in front of me, and it was real horrible. And maybe it's a coincidence, maybe not. But after that happened, yeah, so it's past the point of no return. I'm in the land of the balls. Now, that's it. This is my haircut forever. Unless I decide to get a Keith Prodigy. I'm tempted. I am tempted. Anyway, yeah, my start to the current gen has been rocky. So I got the PS4 Pro. Dead excited. Dead happy to get it, you know. Registered my PayPal, paid for a year's subscription of PS Plus. Brilliant. Installed a few of the games that I've got that I can't yet play. I installed them on there ready, getting the updates ready and all that. And then I tried to put some money on to go and buy some digital games because unfortunately quite a few really good VR games are digital only currently. So I was going to go and download a few games. Uh, so I tried to add some money. <coughs> But weirdly, when I tried to do that, it told me that my details were invalid. My credit card details were invalid. Even though I've only got PayPal on, as an option, and it, had, and it had half an hour ago let me put some money on to get a fucking PlayStation Plus subscription. So I thought, this is weird. Tried various things, had no joy with it. Then I tried to add my bank card, and it told me that de those details weren't valid either. And I tried everything. You know, I tried uh, contacting Sony through web chat uh, and various other methods, emails. Um, I did get a few replies on emails, but they were all telling me to just wait 24 hours and try again. I was like, well, and they were quoted some message that should have been popped up. I said, no, I'm not getting the 24 hour message. I'm getting your credit card details are invalid. So the advice didn't seem relevant to what was going on. Um... And anyway, basically, after a lot of pissing about and not still not having any joy being able to actually buy any games, someone finally emailed me and said they'd done something. Instead of just linking me to forums, which, yeah, I'd obviously already checked, someone said they'd actually had a look in the system and there'd been a block put on my account for some friggin' reason. Anyway, apparently it will be lifted. In 24 hours. But then somebody else replied saying it would be lifted in 48 hours. So get your fucking facts straight, Sony. Come on. So that was annoying. Not being able to get any games. But it gets worse. Oh, it gets worse. So this PSVR bundle. I got quite a good deal on that. It's supposed to come yesterday. It didn't come yesterday. I waited in all day. I tried to get re get it re-delivered to my place of work because I was at work all day today, obviously. No joy there. You can't get through to a human on this postal service 
that this guy, the guy had used, Yodel. Do not use Yodel. What a shower of shit of a company they are. You can't get through to a human on the phone. And even though this package had not met its 24-hour service uh, deadline, I still wasn't able to rearrange an, another delivery yesterday. Yesterday evening. So I left them a note out on the door saying, can you just bring it to my work? I literally live like two minutes drive round the corner. Gave them directions, gave them the address. Said, come and deliver it to my work. Gave them the parcel number, everything. Please come and deliver it to my work address. They didn't do that. So I've been checking the tracking all day long. And all of a sudden, about half past four, it says, left a card, not in, back to the depot. Oh, I was fuming! Not a happy bunny. So now, this guy had paid, by the way, £23 for the premium 24-hour service. They didn't meet that 24 hours. They hadn't even made 48 hours. And now I'm going to have to go and spend time and petrol money to pick the bastard up from their depot, which is an hour's round trip from here. I could just rearrange delivery again, but I don't trust them to bring it. And I want to get it first thing tomorrow morning. I was eager to have that tonight. I got friends coming around this weekend to play it with me. I don't want to be waiting in until fucking half past four again tomorrow. So I'm going to go and get it. And I'm going to give them peace of my mind. These things are sent to test us. But do not use yodel. Holy shit. Any company that makes it impossible for you to speak to a human, or contact a human, or email a human, should not be trusted. Simple as that. My God. Anyway, so I've, I've got a bunch of games, though, you know, that I can't really play yet. Well... Just flat out cannot play yet. Because most of the PSVR games I've got are PSVR only. Not just compatible. Here's one of them. Here They Lie. A bit of reflection on there. Um, yeah, it looks pretty sweet from what I've heard and what I've seen. Um, kind of spooky walking around this uh, dilapidated city. Looking for clues, solving mysteries, that kind of thing. Pretty slow paced. But... I think I'm going to enjoy that type of thing, you know. Um, I don't want all my VR games to be hectic and mad, you know, crazy action. I want some that are just nice, slow-paced, kind of exploring and things like that. And, uh, you know, puzzle games and, and stuff like that. Um, I did get some other games, but they're all the way over there. I'll save those for the next video, which will hopefully be the reveal and my first impressions of the PSVR. What what a sh what a fucking shit show! Yeah, first world problems. I know. I have a roof over my head. I have a job. I have a partner. I I'm well fed and all the rest of it. I know, but it's all relative. I know there's people starving in Ethiopia. It doesn't make my wait for this PSVR any easier. It's all relative. <sighs> That's it, guys. Um. I'm going to cut this video off here. just wanted to say hello. And hopefully, I'll see you again in a much happier mood very soon. All right, tell me what you think of the bonds. I know there wasn't much there in the first place, but what are you going to do? Peace!